It's a great day, everybody. This is Jeff Yenser with another WordPress video tutorial. You can check out more great uh, videos at howtowordpressvideo.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about the WP e-commerce plugin. It's a free plugin that you can install and get a shopping cart on your site. It's pretty cool. And in this video, I'm only going to be covering how to add a product and we'll cover some other topics in other videos. I've got it installed. I assume that you know how to install a plugin and I'm going to go ahead and go to products and click on that and it is going to bring up a listing of products that I have here and these are just test products. These are just uh, some things I made up just to have a couple products in here just to play around with it and and run some tests here and uh, you, you can click on uh, add new here and you will see first of all that it looks very similar to the add new post. Um, you know it's got your title, it's got your area here with your visual and your HTML and it's got upload image but you'll notice it's only got the first box at an image um, it's got categories over here and these are a separate set of categories from your standard WordPress categories if you have an existing WordPress website it's got a set of categories and now these are product categories which work in a very similar way but are indeed separate and there's a bunch of other stuff down here okay so what I'm gonna do is go back to an existing product and look at this in a little more detail It'll save us some time I've already got some products entered in here um, you know the name of the product obviously goes right there your description goes down here um, and here's your image button now I've got an image uploaded already and you'll notice that it doesn't appear down here now it will appear in um, you know when you look at the product on the site but it doesn't appear in that window there now I have two products uploaded but it's only showing one uh, the one thing I will tell you if you want to add more than one product there's an upgrade there's a gold upgrade to this plugin which is forty dollars which is really dirt cheap for a shopping cart software uh, that works as well as this does but you know the the free version works just great if if one product uh, one product image is all you need now you'll notice over here on the side we get categories which I already talked about that a little bit and tags uh, product images you can manage the images from that window right there here's an important part right here price control and I've got a price here set at four dollars and you can create a sale price if you want to uh, you can make a donation box if you like to if you have a nonprofit site and there's also this table rate price option uh, for ordering more than one product you got your variations now like if you're selling say shirts for example and you have different sizes different colors that kind of thing you can use that to add variations to your product um, you can put an SKU on it. Um, you got stock control here. You can say, okay, I have a certain quantity, and you put that in there. And you got notify so site owner and unpublish if product runs out. So you got some stock control options there to manage your inventory. If you have a an off-site product link, you can put that in there. Put in an external URL right there additional description if you want to uh, you know type a few more sentences about it you can add it in there you got um, of course your taxes over here that you can set up um, a product download if you have a downloadable product such as an mp3 an ebook a video or something like that that can be downloaded electronically you can upload that right there um, you got your shipping section where you can set your weight and there are shipping uh, calculations in a different section which I'm not going to cover here but that allows you to set a, a shipping cost based on the weight of the order and also you got your flat rate options and down here you got your advanced uh, meta tag options some notes and a few options down there so that pretty much covers this again it is very similar to just adding a post with a few variations and you have a you know products are different than posts 
and they show up differently in your website. So let's just pop over here and let's just look at the site here for a second. Here's my products page, which is just listing the categories. I'm going to click here on jewelry and there it is, the nice necklace. And I'm going to click on that and it brings up there's my image, there's my description, there's my additional description. It shows it in stock, the price, add to cart button, so it works great. Uh, shopping cart software, that's WP e-commerce, free plugin. I got my shopping cart showing here on the sidebar as a widget and the checkout. And right now this is only running in test mode. So anyways, uh, hopefully this helps you understand WP e-commerce. I'm going to make some more uh, tutorial videos all about WordPress as well as the WP e-commerce plugin. This is Jeff Yenser, howtowordpressvideo.com. Thanks for watching.